Hello? Hello, how are you? I'm fine. I was calling a question about the Quran and their claim for the miracle of the 19. Hmm. Um, they claim that uh, the number 19 is, and the Quran is a mathematical miracle. Hmm. Have you heard anything about this? Sure, sure, I heard. I have a book about it, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you can go and get and, my books from Amazon, you know, the Quran and Science in Depth. Quran and Science in Depth, and you will find all those miracles are nothing but fictions. But uh, I will answer you about this 19 thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you for calling. Yeah. Let's see. You can hang up. I, I will show you the. I will show you the answer in the screen. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. I made many videos about those things, and we will show you how we get them busted. Um. Let us see. You see, I will try. I have many videos. I will try to play one of them in, instead of repeating myself again and again. Uh, but I'm trying to find something short not something long let us see all right let us see here The miracle of number 19. Interesting. Let us see if this was the one. All right. Watch carefully, my friend. I'll give you an arrow. Do you see this letter here? There's an elif. Why you did not count it? The elif appearing there in the Quran. It's appearing. So what do you mean Allah fixed it? It is there. Okay. Bismillah Rahman Rahim has a there's a another type of Bismillah Rahman name which has a 19 miracle and which is, is Rahman has six six letters. Where are That's, they? Sis? Hold on, let me go back. Let Making me go back a little bit. This is a Muslim is, Abdul. He yeah. called us Alif, about Alif, 19. How, how many how many letters are Rahman is? Six letters. One, two, Yo, three, you, four, two, five, five, right? Six, seven. I don't see six. Okay. Where is the six? Yeah. There is Take seven. A point. There is seven letters in Rahman. There is seven letters. Don't you see the letter A? Don't you see this letter here in the top of the word? I'm showing you the screen. You see, this is your Quran. This is your Quran written by you Muslims. In the top of the screen, there is an Aleph. Do you see the Aleph? Do you see the Aleph? Let me let me point my, my arrow so you can see it. All right, hold on. Let me give you an arrow. Do you see this letter here? There's an elif. Why you did not count it? Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. The screen is not showing. All right. Here we go. Do you see this elif in the top of the word Ar-Rahman? You said Ar-Rahman is six letters. That's not true. There is an elif here. It's showing in the front of you in the screen. Why you did not count it? Okay, you okay? Are you two minutes done? I'm asking you, you talk, talk. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Let me finish two minutes without an introduction, right? Because these are the madness of the discussion. When someone's making his point, my friend, you let him finish. It's my two minutes, and I'm asking you now. Okay, go ahead. Just tell me why you did not count the alif. Why you did not yeah. count it? People will leak on the comment sections that I'm speaking over you. No, that's problem. nonsense. Right? Go ahead, so let go me... ahead, go ahead. Just stop crying. Go wait, ahead. Wait, 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 listen, listen. Mm. Listening, speaking is different, right? Mm -hmm. So, Rahman, you're saying there's seven letters. Okay, I'll I'll show you. 
if we go on Google, right? Mm-hmm. There, there's a modern Arabic and there's a classic. There's a modern Arabic and mm-hmm. there was an there's another type of Arabic, right? Mm-hmm. The Arabic that you go on Google and uh-huh. you see the Arabic there. Mm-hmm. That's what is edited by Allah because 19, the Arabic which we read on Google, like everybody can Google it, mm-hmm. they will find six letters. Alif. Where, Alif we, where we can Sa- find that? Where we can find? Show, show me. These are the six letters. If we go where, on where, Google. Where? 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 Okay. Okay. Just Google and just Google Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Yeah. Rahman has six letters, right? Bis has three letters. So Allah fixes this because. It's, Allah fixes? This, what do you mean he fixes? This, it's there. It's in front Allah, of you. It's in front of you. There's, then, a, there's an alif in the front of you. There's an alif. Why Allah making seven? You said it is six. Speech. Are you going against your own word now, eh? <laughs> you said it's two minutes. You finish your two minutes. This is, is let me let me let me start the counter. Hold on. Let me let me show everybody that your minute is finished. Listen, yes. listen, listen. Here we go. Let me start the two the the, the, the minute counter. Here we go. Okay. Now listen. I will, I will give you two extra minutes. I will give you two extra minutes from me as a gift. Now tell me, this is the point, is the alif is the alif appearing the there? Is the alif appearing there? Then make your two minutes. Speak up, man. It's in the front of like you. If you interject. It's in the front of no. you. Answer is the is the alif appearing there in the Quran? It's appearing. So what do you mean Allah fix it? It is there. Okay. Bismillah Rahman Rahim has a there's another type of Bismillah Rahman Rahim which has a 19 miracle and which is is Rahman has six six letters. Where that, are, you know the funny a guy who don't speak Arabic? He didn't speak Arabic. See, they are copy paste. If we go and check what the Muslims claim, you will find how easy to get them busted. It's a big fat lie. You see, when the Muslims they tie for they, they show us the Quran, they they play the game that you do not know Arabic, and because of that, we can fool you. You do not know Arabic, so we can you know whatever we say to you, how you will know. You will notice here with me. This is the word bism. You see here bism. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim In Arabic, we don't have something is called bism. We have bism. Bism, not bism. The Muslims they take that letter specifically from the front of the chapter because simply to make it easier to pronounce easier to pronounce because as you know the Muslims they uh, uh, um, they sing the Quran and just to show you that this is the correct way we will use the Quran the same Quran we will we show it to you look with me here um, let us do that I'm trying to show you the both of them at the same time. Look like that will not be easy. Um, okay, let us do this. I will take a snapshot for this one and place it next to the other one. What we can do. All right, snapshot, shot, shot. <clears throat> now we go here. And we put it next to each other. All right. And I, you know, if there is somebody like I, I hope that people will copy this video and like cut this piece about this uh, answer here. So, guys, do you see here with me? Let us make this thing big. Okay, I don't know how clear it is for you from your side, but we are doing our best. Okay, let us make this text here bigger too. 
Okay, that's perfect. Okay. You will notice here, even if you don't speak Arabic, no problem. You will notice how the word is written in those verses. This is the same word. I'm talking about this word. The same as this word. Do you see the difference? It's exactly the same word. In the beginning of the chapters, they took off the letter A because this is a prayer they recite every day. And if you have the letter A, that will make it harder to, to sing. And remember, Muslims, they try their best to make the Quran is be able to be a song. So in order to do that, they have no choice but to delete this letter from the verse in the beginning. But this is how it is in Arabic. Bism, not bism. There's an alif. The alif here disappear. So when they count for you, the chapter, they say to you, the chapter contain 19 letters avoiding this letter. Now, this is the first problem. Forget about this one. So number one, we discover that there is now, they are not 19, they are 20. Okay. Let us go to something else. You see here with me, the word Ar-Rahman. You see the word Allah. If I zoom in, let me zoom more. Do you see this sign here? Um, <clears throat> let's highlight that. Okay, hold on. If you look with me, let me zoom more too, so you can see with me what I'm talking about. Those things in the top of the word, this is one we call it Shedda. It looked like a sharp knife. Shadda simply mean that in this location there's two letters. And this is something been added long after Muhammad died to make the writing of Arabic better or easier. So instead of writing two letters, we write only one and we add in the top Shadda and that will make it long. So we say Bism Allah Allah. Allah. So here there's two letters. You see the letter here is saying Ar-Rahman, this letter here, Ra, equal to Ra in English. In the top of it, there's Shadda, which means here there's two Ra, not only one. You see the Shadda? Here we have Shadda. Same for Ar-Rahim, Al-Rahim, Ra, Rahim. Here there's two Ra. In the word Ar-Rahman, you will notice that Ar-Rahman here, there's a little alif. That is even shown here, but they make it a small for artistic way of writing. But the word Ar-Rahman always come with alif. So if we count how many words, how many letters are missing in the Quran now, this is a letter, alif, and here there's two letters, L, So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus 19. Or sorry, we have to take, yeah, we have to count them. Take one of them. So let us make it uh, simply how, how many they are extra we found. We do not need to count the L twice because already they counted in the 19. So one, two, three, uh, four, five. So five letters the Muslims did not mention when they count the 19. So the 19 is 24. And uh, the same for Ar-Rahman. We can show that Ar-Rahman 
always always is with Aleph never without Aleph never and even even in the Quran never come without Aleph even here it shows the Aleph but they made it small for artistic reason if we search in uh, uh, you know uh, in Islamic website, we will find that there is nothing. There is nothing. It's called Rahman without Aleph. It's not exist. This is not Arabic. In Arabic, there is no name. It's called Rahman without Aleph. It have to be. It have to be Rahman with Aleph always. So when the Muslim they count those letters, they uh, you know they have to fabricate and they have to come with with the with the language you don't understand. And they claim this is what the Quran is saying, but the fact is not. If we search in Arabic, why the name of Ar Rahman written without Alif here? Let's see. Actually, you know what? Let me go to the dictionary. That will make it easier. We will go to the dictionary and I will type the word in the correct way in the dictionary. If it is wrong, we will find nothing in the dictionary. Oh, man. This is the word Rahman. If we type the in Google the word Rahman, you know, this is all Quran words. Okay. If we type in Google the word Rahman, look how what we will find. I just type it. Surat Ar Rahman. Surat Ar Rahman. Do you see how the Muslim they write Ar Rahman? Do you see the Alif here? Here there's an Alif. I don't know if you notice. It is with Alif. In the Quran, they make it artistic so the Alif is became so small, but it is there. Even there is showing. Uh, all like in, 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 we can show you tons of reference of Ar Rahman. Actually, there is a website, maybe I can find it, where it's explained to us why Ar Rahman. You see here, Abdul Rahman. You see the Alif? Abdul Rahman. Yes, Aisa, how are you? Hey, Christian friends, I'm fine. How are you? I'm all right. Yeah, I was just uh, listening to your Arabic lessons and. <laughs> You know, I I was also in Arabic school for like five weeks, and okay. you know what I've learned is uh, when you say Ar Rahman and you say it like with the uh, Ar Rahman, this is like with the, with the Alif, then you say it like long, you know. Right, Ar Rahman. Actually, Ar -Rahman even even it? if you write Ar Rahman in English, how you write it, you have to add Alif, right? There's yes. Alif. When you pronounce it, why? Because there's an Alif. There's this is how it is. Yeah. yeah, but but you know, imagine when you when you say masmuka, th then you uh, you s s say it like not ma ismuka, but you say masmuka or masmuki. Mm. What's your name? Masmuka. You you don't say it, ma ismuka, but you just, write just, it. Yeah, but different. This, this is just uh, because uh, it's harder to pronounce if you say ismu ma ismuka. So they say masmuka. It's shorter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, but of it course. is. The word SM always come with Aleph. There's no question mm. about that. Yeah. So and uh, all all the Shadda, I don't know if you saw with me the Shadda. All yes, the Shadda, I they saw it. The, the, actually there's a videos made by uh, what his name uh, uh Nu'man Khan. Nu'man Khan, he he do the same game, but you will notice that Nu'man Khan he add the Shadda, he make it as a letter, he translate it as a letter. So when it's like when he say Ar-Rahman, the same word, Rahman, he don't say he don't say, uh, uh, you know, if, if there is a Shadda, he add the Shadda right away and he make it mm. as a letter. So you will see in his video that Ar-Rahman became Tura. 
You can go and watch the video of uh, of Naaman Khan, who is a Muslim, supposedly the Muslim they claim he's a scholar. You will see here that the Ra is mentioned twice. It's not only once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Same as like here. Arahman and yeah. and the the elf is over the the mim. The no, no, I'm letter. talking about the letter Ra. The letter Ra. Yeah. Because yeah. there is a shadda if you study. There's Arabic. a shadda. Yes, yes. Because there and is a shadda. I, those are two letters, not one. But you know, you know, I I was. I wanted to uh, ask you why this is wh why when there's a shadda this this means there's a le letter missing or this just just to pronounce it long. No, in the before before uh, there's a person who supposedly not even an Arab, uh, he come with this method to make it mm. easier to write uh, in Arabic because mm. you know uh, because uh, if you want to write like because now he made it shorter instead of writing that same letter twice. And which is confusing. So, like, I will write Allah, I have to add two letters. If I will write Al Rahim, I have to add mm -hmm. three, three. So, by adding Shadda, that make it easier for us. We write the same letter twice, and that's it. Instead of writing the same letter twice, we add the, the, the Shadda, which is telling you that here there's two letters, so ex extend the sound. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. But this is not f uh, from the original Arabic. This is something yeah, added yeah, yeah. By, know, a, because... by a person who is a Persian. Because the you know I I heard the the first Quran was 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 not with the with the it was with without, the, without dots without the shkir, yes, without anything yeah without the dots without the a e and and yeah. u the wa yeah this is why if we yes. go and try to find an old script in the Quran or Muslim trying to present all the script you will find that we cannot even read it mm -hmm. you know yeah and you know what I what I'm you know this is so crazy because you know. All these tra translations, you know, they are all fake, you know, and and this is so so confusing because you know I don't I don't know why this you know it's so crazy, man. They they are lying with the translation, man. I don't know, man. I don't know what I don't know what to say, man. Finally, finally, I'm out. I'm out of you know of the of this cult. Finally, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see here, I just found a website. This is a Muslim website. It's saying why the uh, the word. Sometimes we find that the word Ar Rahman written. With the like uh, we in the red in the Quran, and sometime with the alif he is adding the alif. You see the alif. Mm, so he's yes. asking why. What is the reason for that? Mm. So they say. <clears throat> uh, they say there is no there is no difference between a Rahman without alif and a Rahman with alif. They did not say this wrong. No. And then they say, uh, the word Rahman تناقلها صحابة رسول الله صلى الله عليه في عثمان. So this is how it became in the beginning from the time of Uthman. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. But but obviously, uh, the reason for that uh, it was just an art. But the alif is still there, even in here, it's still there. But they make it short and small, uh, and they say this is a decoration, this is a resum, which means this is a this is an art, this is a drawing. It's not really a writing the way it it it, it be. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I can uh, you see here, ومدر الرحمن ومدر الرحمن الرحمن. They say it's and it's extended. So here they are giving you a lot of reference why Ar Rahman and what happened to Ar Rahman and where is the Alif is gone, who took it off, uh, what is the point of this? But for sure, Ar Rahman is the word with a as Alif. Mm -hmm. And there's mm -hmm. many Islamic website in Arabic. They are showing you why Ar Rahman written in a certain a certain way. Yes, with the Alif. Yeah, it have because to be. It have to be always. Here, always this is another alif, website. Yeah. They are asking the same question: Why Ar Rahman is written in a certain way? You know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, why it's not uh, in the way it should be? I mean, why why it's coming in such a way? And they explain. But the scholars, as I saw, uh, they 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 mention that many of the words in the Quran, they change the way of their writing, the bend in the uh, in. You see, like uh, today we have font. We say font like. Uh, uh, times new uh, Roman, right? So this is mm -hmm. a font. So the font of the Kufi is different from the font, etc. But the, the mm -hmm. A is still there, even if we don't write it, you know. And they say, even here we go. Look at this. حذفت الألف اللينة ويكون وجودا وجوبا في خمس كلمات تحذف من كلمة رحمن. So this is how the word it is. We take it off. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is is taken off. So they say. Uh, and then they said, they don't say Rahmanu Dunya wa Rahimul Akhirah. 
So they are trying, you know, they are trying to take it to to explain to you why in certain letters this this uh, this words, uh, so certain words, some letters are disappearing. Simply, it is because it's a name which Muslims repeat a lot, and it's easier for us to write it this way and to say it this way. The same as yeah. Bismillah. Bismillah is something the Muslims they have to say every day and stop. So if each time mm -hmm. they say Bism, they have to say Bism. They say Bism. That is not nice. Bism. You know, you're saying yeah, yeah. yourself. That's all. You cannot say it like that. Yeah. But you know, you know, I I learned like you 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 can pronounce one letter like in in three di three different types. If the if there's this 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 like little uh, this little uh, thing under the uh, letter is like a e. When it's over the the letter, it's like an a. And if it's like this this little, little uh, nine, it's like an u. So a e u. So you, yeah, this you, is just you can uh, the, it. the sound. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but, but, but anyway, it, even, even in the Quran here, if you look, it's it, do you see the alif? It's still there. It's not even. I mean, why they are lying to the point? It's in the front of us. This is a let. Mm -hmm. This is an alif. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. They make it small, so it's still there. Yeah. Not like B S M. B S M. B S M. They took it off, but we showed you many verses in the Quran where the alif appear for B S M. And then, in the same time, how you don't count the 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 letter uh, which have the shadda, they are double. Mm -hmm. So simply, you know, if I want to fabricate uh, uh, something, uh, I can come with my own numbers. And actually, if you go and ask the scars, what is the number of the verse, the same verse in front of us? Each one of them, he uh, he give us different uh, uh, different answer. If you mm -hmm. type right now, as long as you will learn in Arabic. If you type, what is the number of uh, uh, letters of which uh, verse number one, chapter number one? Uh, yeah, you know, you you have to take this uh, sh shadda. Uh, you, you have to t uh, take it away, and 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 this makes it uh, just with this one letter. But but you cannot pronounce it right without the sh shadda. You know, if if you take the shadda, you have you have to uh, you have to add letters. That's it. Mm -hmm. You cannot, oh, yeah. cannot pronounce it. You know, you have to add letters, and then mm -hmm. you can. Still, you have to do the same. It's just you have to say the L twice. Allah, you know, Al Rahman, Al Rahman, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but uh, all Muslims, uh, all, all Muslims agree uh, that those are letters are exist there. Uh, let me show you. But you know this. This uh, anyone who speak Arabic underneath. This any, is like any, anyone who speak Arabic. Anyone who speak Arabic. Uh, they don't even agree about even the numbers of the words. Some they say that the numbers of the words in Al Fatiha is 25. Some they say it's 27. Some they say it's 29. Okay. Some they say that the numbers of the Fatiha is 120. Some they say it's 113. Some they say it's 140. Some they say it's 123. And some they say is 142, and some they say it's 143. Okay, some so uh, uh, so everyone he have his own sum. Why? Mm. Because it depends if you want to if you want to count it the way uh, you know like uh, as it appear now, or you want to count the shadda, or you don't want to count the shadda, or you want to count only the letter which is supposedly is an appearing letters. Depend. Mm. So everyone here the same. This, those are Muslims. The one who's counting yeah. this counting is Muslims. That's why everybody say no one understands the Quran. Yeah. And and it, and if you understand, there's so much so filthy stuff stuff in it, man. Just yeah. Muhammad and his many many wives. But it's so crazy, uh, but, man. But but uh, but uh, the, the funny, why every one of them he is counting the same verse with different numbers of letters. This is those are Muslims, mm. and they have different counting for the same thing. Why? So, so how they confirm to us that this is 19? If the Muslim themselves didn't agree about the numbers of the uh, letters. Hmm. Yeah. But anyway, those games, they play them with you if you don't speak Arabic. But for us, we are Arab. They cannot fool us. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, exactly. Uh, when they say that uh, the Quran is an Arabic miracle, who can make like it? And then we find that Omar, he said that <laughs> Allah, he took the Quran from me. Yeah. Who can make Quran like Allah, Omar? Actually, actually, Allah is is is, is taking a Quran from Omar, not Omar taking from Allah. You know, how you say such a challenge, and then you say that Allah he agree with Omar in three. What he agree with me? He agree with him. He took Quran from him. 
and Muhammad he took the Quran from from Omar and he you know uh, uh, he made it Quran for the Muslims and uh, yet they challenge you to make Quran you know mm. Omar he says that my Lord he agree with me in three things by the way that some story says that he agree with him in seven things some they say five things some they say ten things but the most popular thing that Allah he agree with him in three things and Allah he sent the verses as he said as what as, as who said as uh, Omar he said no. Omar he says something yeah. Allah he take it he make it Quran obviously Muhammad he like what Omar said mm. no. and he take it the same as you know the, the guy who was a Christian he was like you he was a supposed to he became a Muslim right mm. and then Muhammad he hired him to write for him uh, 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 Muhammad uh, let me let me find the hadith so the guy he was writing for him Quran and uh, he said he left Islam and he said I'm leaving Islam because Muhammad he do not know what is in the Quran except what I wrote for him you know hmm. yeah 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 but but you know imagine when they when they wrote it down they they did not use the the little uh, you know things underneath the letter or you know the the R E U they did not write it down with with with, with these things so when when they wrote uh, Arahman or uh, what, what was one Arahim ne Arahman when they when they wrote it down uh, did they wrote it with the alif or not. No one knows. <laughs> uh, no, I believe no. In the beginning, it was. It should be with Aleph. It have mm -hmm. to be. It have to be. Yeah, it have to be. Yeah. Because at that time there was no, uh, um, you know, and, and the letter have to be written twice, Ar Rahman. Because how we will know that this is Ar Rahman twice? It have to be written. Mm -hmm. The the vowels yeah, no. in the top of the language, the same as the Hebrew. The Hebrew doesn't have in the beginning uh, those yeah, yeah, vowels. Yeah. So uh, this is why it might come with a confusion. So, yeah, exactly. uh, like now, if I wanna, uh, if I take this word, I will write a word in Arabic. Which word? And anything, you know, anything in the Arabic, it can be confusing if you don't have dots. So if I yes. say, uh, if I say, uh, Salam. No, I will, I will, I will do this, and I will not <laughs> add that, dots. I change it in Muslim to tell me what is that. I can add two dots here or one dot and two dots here that will make it feel which mean elephants I can add Wait, let me read this for you <laughs> this is feel this is elephant uh, yeah, 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 if, yeah. if I this add one fake. dot it became keel which means been said yeah exactly exactly if I take one dot that will make it qabila which mean accept qabila yes you know of, and, uh, and, of and, if the, and if you do one so, dot yeah, so like, then it's like you know, uh, uh, so finally. you can you can play with the word as much as you. So how, how mm. I will know, uh, how I will know. This is why actually the Muslim until now they don't agree about what is written in the Quran. Mm. There's, there is uh, the reading of the Quran is different and uh, uh, the meaning change. All right. Mm. Anyway, my friend, thank you for calling. Let's see if we can yeah. take one more call from the Abdul before we go. Yes, I hope right. so. Thank you. I good. Do we have any Abdul wanna call? Any Abdul wanna call? Don't repeat himself. 